Hey guys, I'm Marty Geek. In this video, I'm going to be playing Gears Tactics on PC. This game is available starting today via uh, Xbox Game Pass, but I believe it's only on PC. Um, so, yeah, I don't think this game is available yet on Xbox One. Let me know in the comments, but I think it's only on PC for now. So, we loaded up here the game, and keep in mind, like I said, I'm playing on PC. I'm just going to show you guys the settings that I'm playing at. I'm not used to be recording on PC games, so here it is. So right now I'm playing at, you know, performance, recommended, 1080p, but like you see there, you could go all the way up, all the way up to 4K. Look at the resolutions you could go up to, 3840, 2160. But right now, since I'm playing on my laptop and recording at the same time, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at the recommended settings, which is 1080p. Um, everything else, like you see here, these are the settings that I, it is, textures and environment, post-processing, advanced. There's a whole bunch of things you can, if you have a badass PC, you can actually pump it up, hype it up, the computer, and uh, make it look a lot better than what you're going to see here in this video. So here I am um, customizing or upgrading my characters with the points that you earn while you're playing. I already finished the first chapter, so this is going to be the second chapter we're going to be playing. Um, as you play, you unlock new upgrades for your weapons, upgrades for your characters, and right before um, every match or every chapter, you could go ahead, like you see here, what I'm doing is um, upgrade your character. So, you know, double barrel. Let's go ahead here to Sid. Right now, we only have two characters, but we will, we will have, I think, uh, it should be more than four, right? But when you go to battle, it's, it's almost always four. But I believe you're going to have, like, more characters you could choose from, depending on the mission you're doing. If you played games like XCOM, uh, you know what I mean, or... Um, a game that I played on Nintendo Switch was uh, Three Houses. Really awesome game. So this is kind of similar. Okay. There you go. I think he has... I thought he had some more upgrades for his weapon, but uh, I guess not. He got passive upgrades. And this is a mission. We're going to go ahead and start it. And you can see there, we're just going to have Gabe and Sid. Gabe and Sid. Like you see, you can still edit the character again right before the match, just in case you forgot to do something. But we're going to go ahead and deploy. Yeah, baby. Okay, so chapter two. I'm going to be editing a little bit here and there when it comes to the loading time. It's not because the loading time is long. It's because I want to share as much gameplay with you guys as possible. And I believe this... If this video or this gameplay goes over 20 minutes, I'm going to be editing to make the video a little bit shorter. Yeah. That's what I'm afraid of. That's what I'm afraid of. Up ahead. Marcella. Okay, cupcakes. Uh, uh, just like that. Okay, cupcakes. Everybody in one piece. <laughs> this guy is crazy. What if they what if there's like an outranks so, officer right there? Like a general or master sergeant. Came out of nowhere. Okay, cupcakes. All right, you're with us now. Let's go find your people. Come on, dude. Sure as hell hope there's a squad left to recruit. Okay, I guess they're going to be part of our group now. We got four of them. We, so we got a complete team right from the get-go. This is the second chapter. And right away, we're going to have our completed team. Let's check out the ambush site. See if there's any sign of those gears. Okay, so with the directional buttons, you can actually move the camera around, which is Q. And you can also move the camera up and down. So if you want to be a little bit more closer to the action, you can just uh, press up or down, and it goes down. Take them out. Should have left when you had the chance, assholes. 
So you can see every character has like a grenade, second weapon, and uh, the main weapon. There's a box over there on the side that you should always try to get because oh, yeah. a lot of those, a lot of times, those boxes are gonna have like rare weapons or rare upgrades. I don't think rare weapons, rare upgrades, but not rare weapons because I keep the. I think I heard of the weapons that you have are always gonna be the weapons that you gonna be using except upgrading them okay standing by with the uh, bumper RB and LB you can go ahead and, su and switch between characters like if you want to control one character instead of the other you can with the RB button or LB go through them uh, so it's, uh, empower stim. Hmm. Okay, empower. Okay, so now I got more actions that I did before on the first chapter. We're covered here. Let's go and end got our turn. Activity. I can't really see them that much. Okay, there you go. Shit. Okay, they're getting ready. They got an Overwatch there. Ooh, they got two Overwatches. Okay, so one tactic about this game is that you could take out the Overwatches with another character that's not like in, in danger in that danger cone. You got it. So that way the other characters can actually move. With her, we're we gonna go ahead. She got a shotgun. Boom. Ooh, I didn't kill him. Let's go again. Last round. What's next? Dropped him. Reporting. Okay. Now with him, I can move away. Du -du -du. I got the second weapon. The main weapon. So with. Each weapon that you choose when you press the X button, uh, you can swap between the main weapon, the this one right here, which is the secondary weapon, is the one that can interrupt overwatches, and you also got the grenade as well. So if there's like a, a an emergence hole opening up, you can just throw a grenade inside of it. Uh, you can also throw like uh, those healing grenades. I from I forgot the name of them, but in Gears of War, you throw like a grenade and to a spot and they can like heal your characters so there's spots like that too as well comms truck ahead we want to find the rest of echo 5 that's where we start looking okay we got this guy right here up close and personal boom there you go keep them coming keep on coming okay let's go and take that box let's go and take that hey come on come on let's see the little hand oh you go if you don't see the little hand, it will actually move to the box, but not grab it at the same time. So make sure you actually see the little hand, and then press the A. Because if you move, and you don't see the little hand, it will move to the box, but not open it. So you're going to have to then use another action to open the box. So that's something that I learned hard way in when I was playing the first chapter. Uh, believe it or not, I actually died on my second wave on the first chapter uh, going back to my 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 vehicle I actually died so I had to actually restart the whole game again okay. and I'm also playing in normal there's a whole bunch of difficulty levels here in this game there's like an easy oh, mode yeah intermediate mode is the one that is recommended is basically normal that's how i'm playing here i'm playing in normal but there's like three more levels uh, after normal the hard hardcore insane uh, something like that but there's like three more levels after normal so keep that in mind okay this by no what am i going to use a grenade for well i could use a grenade over there Take that guy out. Let's see. Frag out. I don't know. Normally, I don't think I would have used wasted a grenade there, just to kill one guy. But I'm trying to play as fast as possible. That way, I don't 
this this game can easily this video can easily be a 40 50 minute video <laughs> with games like this okay so yeah, let me know in the comments if this game is available on Xbox already, but I think I heard that it's only going to be available for now on PC via Xbox Game Pass. I don't know if it's going to be available via Steam, but dude, come on. If you have a PC and you have $10 a month, you should be paying for the Xbox Game Pass for a PC because it's, it's, it's really good. It's a really good deal. Uh, right now, I don't have an Xbox. I did have an Xbox uh, years ago. But as as of right now, since I wasn't using the Xbox at all, and Game Pass for PC became available, I actually got rid of the Xbox. But, in a way, I also regret it because with PC, you know, I only have one PC. It's my working PC, which is a laptop, not a desktop PC. And... Um, you know, I have to always be using recommended settings instead of playing the game at its full potential. And that's the advantage of a console. Honestly, that's the advantage of a console. In, in a way, I regret selling my Xbox One S, which was the last console Xbox I had. Because these games, I could play them at a better uh, settings. You know, it would be playing a lot more nicer. It would look a lot more beautiful. Um, then on my PC, because on my PC I have to, you know, play at recommended settings. So, right now, there's one Xbox that I'm really tempted, but I, I, I don't know, I'm, I gotta hold on because the Xbox Series X is coming soon, in my opinion. For me, I think it's gonna come out um, before October. That's my, my oh, wow. prediction, before October. Because um, they need to release before PlayStation. So for me, they're going to release way before PlayStation. Not a week before PlayStation. Way before PlayStation. That's my opinion. So I'm going to I'm gonna get it. If you're asking me if I'm going to get it, yes, I am going to get it. There you go. Ha, 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 ha. See, like there, I put an uh, Overwatch right there. Okay, we got to take this guy out. So yes, Ooh, we could take him out from the back. Right there. Right? Dun, dun, dun. We could take them out or we could go and do something else. Oh, you know what? What can we also do? So you guys can see this. Bayonetta you charge. Ready you ready for this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> So like you see there, there's a whole bunch of options that you see there to actually execute or kill an enemy. I could have just shoot him from behind. Could have just done that. And oh yeah, execute. Oh yeah, there you go. Oh man, I love that. That is so satisfying. There you go, we cleared the field. So okay everybody, let's go over here. That's always your target every time you see one of these targets that's your destination you should be going for uh oh -uh. prepare more enemies we'll their tags home at least. you know what we better get this box since we're there's no enemies around and it's blue so it must be something rare though rare case there you go that's my first rare case in this game awesome not bad so yeah, the the console that I've been tempted about is the one coming out on um, June, the Cyberpunk Xbox One X um, customized console. Oh my freaking god, that console looks beautiful. It looks gorgeous. The controller you can actually buy it right now, but I like the controller that I have, and I've been also tempted to getting that controller, but but. Um, we should get that right now. Oh, Overwatch, just in case somebody comes in. But the console, man. Oh my god, that console looks incredible. 
that console looks really 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 good and supposedly it's the last xbox one x um special edition console coming out until the new generation comes up so let me know in the comments uh, are any of you guys actually thinking about getting the, that xbox one x cyberpunk 2770 edition let me know in the comments because man i am so tempted i'm so tempted but the problem is is that months later you're gonna have the xbox series available i know you can sell it but you're gonna have to lose money i don't know i don't know i don't know who knows i might do something crazy get it make a video for it then when the xbox series x comes out sell it which is gonna be a, a painful because that console looks so beautiful that console looks so beautiful getting rid of it it's like a crime oh yeah look at this that's that's what like when i want to use my grenades that's when you use your grenades when you take multiple people out or the emergence home <laughs> there you go so let's go and move over here also let me know in the comments if you're a huge fan of this type of gaming uh, did you get the Xbox, uh, not the Xbox, the XCOM Chimera Squad video game that came out on, I think it was on Friday or Thursday last week. Very cheap for $10, and it's a standalone game. Uh, but I knew this game was coming out, and I was paying attention to this game, and I'm already paying for the Xbox, you know, PC. So I'm like... You know, I might as well get Gear Tactics because I love the Gears franchise. You know, Overwatch. We're okay, we're gonna do Overwatch there. When somebody comes out of that hole. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. <laughs> okay, let's go and take this. There you go. Common case. Can we still move? Okay. Sometimes it's uh, so far, I, I, we have to play a little bit more of this game because I'm still a little bit confused of the moves that you can make. Because it's a little bit different than XCOM. It's different than XCOM. There you go. There you go. Ooh, I took one out right away with the Overwatch. Ooh, I took one out on the other side. There you go. Oh, this guy. Oh, this guy's smart. Oh, he did Overwatch behind me. Holy crap. Critical hit. Uh oh. This is looking ugly. Now, keep in mind, if your main character dies, the mission is over. You know, the mission is over. You can, if when they go down, you can still revive them. But you, if you can't revive them and they die, the Enemy main the character, I'm talking about, um, I think it's uh, Sid and the other character, Gabe. Yeah. If they die, the mission, the game is over. Ready. But if the other guys die, I believe it's not over. Let me know in the comment. Because like I said, this is barely my second chapter. And, um... But the cool thing, there's no permadeath. Your characters don't die forever. But the mission does, you know, does end. Okay, I could take this guy out. On it. No way, wait a second. Oh no, I can't shoot? Oh no, I did a mistake right there. I got right next to him so I can kill him, and I can't kill him. Okay, 62% chance. Ah. Oh man, that was horrible. Okay, let's shoot this guy then. I got, I still got another move. I could shoot that guy, which is, there you go. Uh, a guaranteed kill. Okay. I got that guy there. 
Okay, we gotta use this. We gotta use this. Because if the round is over, you're gonna see more enemies coming out from the hull. So you wanna take that out before the round is over. Okay, so now that's secure. So it's only you two guys. Okay. Oh my god, I love that. Now we're bringing the hurt. Damn, I love that Gatling gun. Oh man, he could have he could have killed me right there. Wow, he could have just killed me right there. He was right next to me. Okay, guys, so I skipped forward. I skipped forward because the video got long as hell. So I'm coming back here 19 minutes over 20 minutes in. And finishing this. There you go. Okay, so I had to edit the video, like I said, because the video game got long as hell. Um, around almost 40 Perfect. minutes because right after that kill that we gonna we were gonna do um, there was another wave coming from the other opposite side the side that we came from with a whole bunch of enemies and emergence hall and all that so we are finishing this right now I decided to go ahead and just show you guys the last kills in this game there you go that's it that's it game over Okay. There you go, guys. There you have it. There you have it. The cutscenes, I gotta say, the cutscenes are really cool. I love when they put very nice story with cutscenes in these tactic games, like XCOM. I love it. I love seeing those awesome cutscenes. And it, it looks like Gears Tactics is gonna have a good story. And keep in mind, this is this it Gear is Tactics cool. game is actually, I believe, 12 years before Gears Gears of War one, or Gears of War, the original Gears, Gears of War. So Back this is this is right after they starting the aliens or these monsters starting attacking Earth. So there you have it, guys. This game looks really damn good. I like it. But like I said, um, if you have a better PC, man, and, and you can play this game at and you know with everything enabled, like, like shadows and all that. Okay, there you go. We got a rare case, common case. There you have it. So now after you're done, this is something I wanted to show you guys. You can level up. Some characters, like you see there, Sid got promoted. Only Sid, so he gets, I believe, two points to upgrade. And now we can go ahead and claim our Retro Lancer mod. Okay. We got our Retro Lancer mod. Accuracy, blah, blah, blah. Okay, sleek stock for the Lancer as well. And that's it. So here we're going to be upgrading our characters. Like you see those little red tabs. That means that there's an upgrade available for that weapon. When you see those red little tabs. And like this one has two upgrades. Damage 15 plus damage or passive skill swift. Hmm. So you got to choose depending on your gaming style. What you want to do there. Um, here... With Sid, I believe we... Sid is the only one right here, like, for example, that we can. Okay, Mission 3, Chapter 3. Yeah, but we f before you redo that, you better just upgrade your character. So, like, see here, Sid right now is the only character that has extra points to use the skill tree. So, that's something you better take care of before you go to the next mission. 
But so far, I'm liking it. This game looks really damn good. Feels damn beautiful. I uh, honestly, I would love it to play this game on a console instead of my PC because on my PC, I have to play on recommended um, settings. On the console, you're gonna play. You're gonna play it as good as it can look. You know that's the great thing about the console. So. Yeah, guys, let me know in the comments what you think about gear tactics and let me know about the Xbox One X. Would you buy the Xbox One X that's coming out on June Cyberpunk 2020 edition or would you wait for the Xbox Series X? Let me know in the comments because I'm, oh, I'm so tempted. Let me know, guys. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye bye. I'm going to keep on playing here.